Episode 56 or January 9, 2024. Saradevo indoor residential wood burning adds to the Bosnian capital's high pollution. Bosnia and Herzegovina, Sarajevo. Wood and coal keep the home fires burning in polluted Sarajevo. Our fee slash RL many people in Sarajevo are still using wood and coal to heat their homes in winter, adding to the Bosnian capital's high pollution levels. Mexico. Razet view. It would be better to provide home heating methods that are clean to Mexican households, rather than questionably cleaner, wood stoves. Heat pumps need electricity to work, but electricity is probably available even in rural areas of Mexico. Mexico. Cooking without harming health and the environment. Dancy.eu in Mexico, an organization provides households with smoke-free and wood-saving stoves. These eco-techniques benefit families and the environment. Missouri, Hannibal Radio Station. Could Illinois ban wood burning stoves? It's not impossible. HTTPS colon slash slash khmoradio.com slash Illinois dash leading dash charge dash wood dash burning dash stoves slash question mark UTM underscore source equals sign TSMC lip ampersand UTM underscore medium equals sign referral Razep view. Apparently in the interest of showing both sides. A radio station in Hannibal, Missouri has published the YouTube address of an indoor residential wood burner who vows to fight wood stove regulation until they have to pry his wood stove from his cold, dead hands. The YouTuber video from February 2023 apparently speaks in response to the Office of the Attorney General's February 2023 report that the Environmental Protection Agency's wood stove certification program is flawed, allowing manufacture and certification of highly polluting wood stoves. This flaw has resulted in giant loopholes to compliance to even the lax standards of the EPA. Loopholes resulted from the lobbying of the wood stove industry. The wood burning YouTuber uses solar panels along with a wood stove. Apparently unaware of the June 2023 report that the Canadian wildfire smoke incursion into New York State resulted in a drop of solar panel efficiency by half in a major solar panel New York statewide network. The YouTube wood burner advertises Genesis Gold IRAs and solar power in addition to his main purpose of defending continued polluting use of wood stoves. The speaker is upset that homeowners insurance companies are refusing to insure people who operate wood stoves in the homes. February 2023 was even before major homeowner insurers began to drop areas of California because of wildfire risk and indoor residential wood stoves home fire risk in addition to wildfire risk to homes. The speaker suggests that people move to places where they can get homeowners insurance even if they operate with stoves in their homes. The speaker suggests that people move and leave behind their families and responsibilities if necessary. His speaker compares his wood stove to his gun and says that they will pry his wood stove from his cold, dead hands. The speaker also says it would be good if the United States government failed, so there would be less ability for the government to implement tyranny, so that there would be no laws against owning a wood burning stove. The speaker has 25,000 followers on Facebook, but in February 2023, he was implying that Facebook was blocking people from following his videos. The speaker advised that viewers get into a place where there is low population density, less control, less zoning, less regulation, less Karens, and more freedom to burn wood. Missouri, Hannibal. Razep view. Apparently in the interest of showing the other side, a radio station in Hannibal, Missouri has published a URL from Undark. And another URL from Green Builder Media criticizing the use of indoor residential wood stoves for home heating. Wood burning stoves raise new concerns. Undark wood burning stoves must be regulated now. Green Builder Media, the EPA, shared a report that found eight year old standards for wood burning stoves problematic. Green Builder Media suggests an emergency use only rather than an outright wood stove ban. Razep excerpts from the radio station article There is no ban on wood burning stoves in Illinois. However, there is a movement towards stringent regulation and Illinois is one of the states leading the charge. In 2023, there was a growing outcry about wood-burning stoves. Officials increasingly treat wood smoke pollution as a public health and environmental justice issue, despite opposition. Razep excerpts from the March 22, 2023 Undark article, when Susan Rimmers moved into her home in Portland, Oregon, she thought she'd live there for the rest of her life. Rimmers, a 58-year-old with a mobility disability, planned to outfit the house with ramps to be wheelchair accessible, and she viewed her 2012 purchase as an investment in her and her partner's future. But within months of moving in, she noticed gray smoke billowing from the chimney of the house next door. Next, she says, came the sore throats, 
headaches, and tight lungs. By 2016, she ended up in the emergency room in the middle of the night when she had trouble breathing. She was pretty sure that the source was the smoke and says that she asked her neighbor to stop burning wood for heat. But he kept doing it, as did other neighbors in her quiet residential neighborhood on the city's northeast edge. Now, almost 10 years after moving in, Rimmers is desperately trying to leave the home she once saw as a haven. The weight of numbers, air pollution, and PM 2.5 each time she has tried to move, potential new neighborhoods have had wood smoke, too, from a restaurant with a wood-burning oven to another neighbor burning. Rimmers told Undark in a recent phone call from her house, where she runs three medical-grade air filters almost constantly to deal with the smoke. It just seems more can be done, she added. And people need to be aware of the harm. Even with increasing electrification and natural gas infrastructure, wood burning in the United States, 11.5 million homes, or about 30 million people, were estimated to use what is their primary or secondary heat source, according to 2009 data from the U.S. Energy Information Administration, a figure that's increased in recent years along with rising costs of fuel oil. And although air pollution standards for major emitters like cars and factories have tightened, wood smoke has remained relatively unregulated. Brian Monch, a doctor and president of Utah Physicians for a Healthy Environment, a nonprofit organization focused on pollution and public health, spoke to Undark. Scientific evidence reveals that residential wood burning isn't just a rural habit, and that even a small number of urban stoves and fireplaces can have far-reaching consequences. The effort to regulate and reduce residential wood burning, though, has run into opposition from industry. Unclear federal guidance hasn't helped. The Environmental Protection Agency is embroiled in a controversy over its process for determining the safety of consumer wood burning appliances. Meanwhile, some states have spent millions of dollars replacing wood stoves with newer models, which may still be damaging to human health. Meanwhile, residents like Rimmers are left with little recourse. Air is ubiquitous, and we can't control the air we breathe, she said. In my view, it's criminal that we allow people to be put in a position where they have to poison themselves and their neighbors in order to stay warm. PM 2.5 from wood smoke enter the bloodstream through the lungs and even penetrate the brain. Depending on what's being burned, wood stoves and fireplaces may even spit out toxic metals like mercury and arsenic. Inhaling wood smoke raises the risk of developing asthma, lung disease, and chronic bronchitis. Burning wood can also harm the body's respiratory immune response, increasing the risk of a respiratory infection, including COVID-19, in 2017. Researchers at the National Institutes of Health found that indoor wood smoke pollution increases the risk of breast cancer. A 2015 article in the journal Environmental Health Perspectives estimated that in the U.S., approximately 4.8 million vulnerable people live in homes with substantial exposures to particulate matter from wood stoves. While a 2022 study found that even low levels of PM 2.5 pollution can be deadly for older Americans, the important thing to understand about wood smoke is it's probably the most toxic type of pollution that the average person ever inhales, said Moach who also runs an advocacy group called Doctors and Scientists Against Wood Smoke Pollution. When virtually any single particulate pollution that a person inhales can get distributed and end up in any organ system in the body, you can start to grasp that the disease potential is almost limitless. A 2017 study, researchers from Boston and North Carolina estimated that residential combustion causes 10,000 premature deaths in the U.S. every year, mainly from wood smoke. Smoke can enter homes through windows and gaps in the insulation, as well as under doors, making people dependent on their neighbors for the air they breathe. Nationwide, wood smoke from residential burning contributes about 6% of all fine particulate matter emissions, according to the EPA's 2017 National Emissions Inventory. Residential wood burning makes up the largest source of wintertime particulate matter in urban centers like the Bay Area of California, even though few residents there burn wood as their main source of heat. As well as rural towns in Montana across western states every winter, between 11 and 93 percent of PM 2.5 emissions comes from people burning wood in residential areas. Air pollution, including PM 2.5 emissions, disproportionately harms low-income communities and communities of color. While research from the Energy Information Administration shows that a greater percentage of higher-income households burn wood overall, lower-income households that do burn wood tend to consume more of it indicating that wealthier people use fireplaces and stoves for ambience, while those who can't afford more expensive fuels turn to it out of necessity. This can be particularly true in many rural and tribal communities, 
including the Navajo Nation, where indoor air pollution is a major cause of respiratory infections in young children. Oregon's Department of Environmental Quality considers wood smoke to be an environmental justice issue in Portland, where residential wood combustion is the biggest source of air toxins for the Hispanic and Latino population. In Tacoma, Washington, in 2015, a researcher named Evans Agnew provided teenagers with air monitors to track pollution levels, and in Keene, New Hampshire that has experienced heavy wintertime air pollution from wood smoke for years. Researcher Nora Travis outfitted homes with purple air monitors, small and relatively low-cost sensors that contribute real-time air quality data to a digital map. Wood stove smoke is extremely dirty, even when produced by EPA-certified units. CitizensForCleanerAir.org as energy costs spike. Interest in wood burning is on the rise globally and in the United States, increasing pollution risks. For Green Heat Headlines United States Environmental Regulations to Watch in 2024 Jenner and Block JD Super The new PM 2.5 standard is expected to take effect within 60 days after publication of the final rule. In May 2023, EPA proposed its long-awaited Rosep view. A better solution than cleaning wood stoves is to take the wood stoves out of houses where they were the cause of fatal fires. Kentucky, Louisville. Louisville Fire Marshal discusses best safety practices after two recent fatal house fires. WDRB.com Malley said never pour water on a grease fire. He also said you need to routinely get your fireplace and wood burning stoves cleaned professionally. Michigan, Oakland. Michigan air quality concerns continue into 2024. The Oakland Press Particulate Matter is abbreviated as PM2.5. The 2.5 is the number of microns that can be detected by the sensors. A single human hair is about. Washington. Wenatchee, Ellensburg. Woman arrested after trailers destroyed by fire in Ellensburg News Radio 560 KPQ. Keep anything that can burn at least three feet from your fireplace or wood stove. United Kingdom. Rosette View. Drax also has a wood-burning power station in the United Kingdom. United Kingdom, Dear X. Coal Power Station Drax to receive approval for net zero carbon capture scheme business news. CRAS.net if they are burned that CO2 is released back into the air. So overall there is no loss or benefit. This means that what burning itself can be. United Kingdom, York. City of York Council backs Clean Air Night City of York Council. Harms your wallet. Wood burning is almost always more expensive than other forms of heating. Harms your health. Lighting fires in our homes is the particulate matter air pollution in the UK. Harms the planet. Wood burning creates more harmful CO2 emissions compared to other forms of heating. United Kingdom, Yorkshire. How the country should tackle the issue of domestic burning. Will Prescott Yorkshire Post. The trend has continued into this decade with sales of wood-burning stoves increasing by 40% between 2021 and 2022 alone. Domestic Burning Bangladesh Bangladesh is losing its battle with Air Pollution News Eco Business PM 2.5 level of 74 micrograms per cubic meter. By contrast, levels of 58.7, 30.2, and 7.8 were recorded for India, China, and the U.S. respectively. India, Bhagalpur Bhagalpur records severe AQI of 401 Putna News. Times of India the average concentrations of PM 2.5 particulate matter less than 2.5 microns. Stood at 120 micrograms per cubic meter. G slash M3, nearly eight times. India, Delhi. AAP leader hits out at officials over shut smog tower in CP. The statesman PM 2.5 and PM 10 to some extent. Earlier, the tower was stopped after the real-time source apportionment study, or SAS, with regard to Delhi's. India, Delhi. Air quality again dips into severe levels at several monitoring stations in Delhi Eastern Mirror. The air quality at Anand Vihar plummeted in the severe category with PM 2.5 at 495. India, Delhi. Doctors flag rising heart attack cases among young Delhites during winter. Millennium Post throughout 2023. Delhi grappled with a significant number of days marked by hazardous PM 2.5 levels, signaling the persistent challenge of air quality. India, Delhi. 16 out of 65 pollution hotspots in Delhi fixed. Government, Hindustan Times PM 2.5 concentration of these locations that were higher than Delhi's mean PM 2.5. This includes Anand Vihar, Munka, Wazirpur, Jahangarpuri, RK. India, Kashmir. An invisible killer hangs in the air of Asia's cities. 
Kashmir Times' long-term exposure to PM2.5 was linked to 149,000 early deaths in South Asian cities and 53,000 in Southeast Asian cities in 2005. This increased by India, Mumbai. Mumbai's PM2.5 levels exceed national limit. Study. The Times of India PM2.5 limit met six months last year, two more than in 2022. Study the four winter months of November-February witness maximum air pollution in major. Thailand, Bangkok. Excessive PM2.5 pollution in 44 areas in and around Bangkok Thai PBS World Bangkok. Environment, Nakhon Patham, PM2.5 Asamitsakon Asamitsankram, Thailand, weather. Share post. Taiwan hits campaign fever pitch in. The land, Samit. Record PM2.5 dust levels hit Thailand with Bangkok and Samit Sankram worst effect a diger. The PM2.5 dust report was provided through the Czech Dust application, showing hourly updates from satellite data. The standard dust value should not. Thailand. Urgent warning for PM2.5 pollution issued in Bangkok and other provinces across Thailand Pattaya Mail. The Pollution Control Department, PCD, has issued an urgent warning regarding the hazardous levels of PM2.5 particulate matter in the air, impacting 